Turning to news out of the Bahamas, a big step forward to a much needed state of the art hospital in Grand Bahama, a reality. It's more than a decade in the making. Our One Caribbean News, DeAndre Hamilton reports. 50 acres of land secured. So is a very important loan from the World Bank, $210 million of which goes to this anticipated facility. The Prime Minister of the Bahamas, Philip Davis, announcing that it ends 15 years of posturing when it comes to improving health care in Grand Bahama and digging down deep into the soil on what is already being called the Freeport Health Campus. Ground was broken last week. We'll commence the groundbreaking of the Freeport Health Campus, initiating the construction of a groundbreaking outpatient and urgent care facility that will cater to the needs of Grand Bahamians and the Northern Bahamians residents for generations yet to come. The Minister for Grand Bahama, Ginger Moxie, was thrilled because this moment means her island's needs are not forgotten. By congratulating my cabinet colleague, the Honorable Dr. Michael Davel, Minister of Health and Wellness, who has been relentless in pushing for this moment for at least 10 years. I also congratulate the team at the Public Hospitals Authority on the groundbreaking of the Freeport Health Campus, the premier state-of-the-art hospital for Grand Baum Island. Engulfed in surge waters and lashed by winds and storms, agreements previously signed and years of dire upgrades attempted at the old Rand Memorial Hospital. The PLP administration now vows again this was a day which truly meant change for the residents. And according to the health minister, Dr. Michael Darville, it will come in phases. Project will be the establishment of a close to 60,000 square foot facility that will be usable as phase 1B of the project is initiated and the final phase initiated simultaneously. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.